So I'm Johnny, I'm 29 and I'm from Bradford, West Yorkshire. And I'm Manuel, 28, from Italy. Yeah, it's our first year with the circus this year. We're performing an aerial hoop duo together. So our characters are Celtic warriors in the show and we perform an aerial hoop duo, which is a steel ring suspended high in the air. Art is strong, it's risky. Um, we're flying over the audience heads. We're holding each other very high in the air. And there's this unspecified relationship between our characters in the show, which is really for the audience there to decide what they think they are, we are, if we're like fellow soldiers, if we're brothers, if we're lovers, and this is really open. And so we're actually really interested in what people think after yeah. they've seen the act and what kind of story they're. We know what we think it is, but isn't going to be interesting to find out what people think. What, yeah. We normally work on aerial straps, so actually the aerial hoop duo is a new number for Gifford Circus. Um, so it will be the premiere of this act for us too, which is very exciting. Yeah. So we were both from dance backgrounds. Um, originally I was a dancer and then I've been working in circus for around 10 years now. Um, normally working with cruise ships or cabaret or dinner show type things. So yeah, it'll be my both of our first time with yeah. the traveling circus. And yeah, you were also a dancer. So I've been a dancer all my life <laughs> and I'm in the circus world since two years ago. Okay, so mm. we met on a cruise ship. Yeah. Um, where I was an acrobat and Manuel was a dancer and yeah we we got together as a real life couple then and shortly afterwards Manuel was, said you know I really like this aerial thing I want to do this and he went away and he studied and after he studied basically said so I'm that. gonna do this now are you in Are or you? not <laughs> it's like join me or not kind of thing so then we decided we were gonna work on an act together well we had to trust in each other because Okay. Yeah, I mean, we obviously we are a real life couple as well, so the trust kind of comes along and also the kind of being able to draw a line under, like, you know, we fight, everyone fights, and you need to be able to go on stage knowing that, you know, even though one of you put the empty milk bottle back or something, that it's going to be okay when you're holding them from their ankle eight meters in the air. So, yeah, we have this thing of, like, you never perform angry and, like, whatever's happened before the show, it's kind of left and... You do the show and you can deal with it afterwards, but it never gets brought into the act because, yeah, there we have to rely on each other like 100%. <laughs> Initially in lockdown, we were in Germany and we were working with a show there, and they were kind enough to let us stay on and train in their facility. And of course, initially we thought it was going to be two weeks and everything would be back to normal. And three months later, while well, we were still living in Munich, we said, maybe we should think about moving now. <laughs> um, so then we were both coaching. I was doing some coaching for the Etage in the circus school in Berlin. And Manny was coaching in Sicily, um, some dance schools there. And um, yeah, lockdown was actually a little bit of a blessing for us because we spent so much time training together and developing on new things. But there was always this question of when are we actually going to be able to do these things that we are working on? And we will be able to. Yeah. <laughs> will we be able to? Yeah. It's, it's going well. Uh, we're working hard mostly with dancing. Yeah, with we're Irish doing lots of Irish dancing. Yeah. Um, it's quite tiring. Yeah, but the days nice. are long and they're intense. I think I've just forgotten what those days were like after yeah. the last year. <laughs> um, of course, there is a lot of workout behind. Yeah. yeah, we train with we train like gym, yeah. like weights most days. Um, also in, for the physique as well, because you know, if you're not wearing much on stage or depending on the character you're playing, like. You know, it's important for the act, for the characters as warriors, that they're going to be look strong on stage. Yeah. So equally for this, and then we have like our technical training on our equipment and a lot of stretching as well. So yeah, there's a phys some kind of physical activity every day. Really. Well, I never like been in England, so I'm looking forward to see new places. And now. It's gonna be warm and sunny. <laughs> I mean, really, just having an audience again like after last year. And yeah, true. Working again, which is gonna be wonderful as well. But yeah, like having live audience, especially like we've done video work over the last year, but just nothing can replace like that human experience of getting together with other people in a room and, and you know, for that five minutes of this two hours of the show, you're sharing something with them and they're sharing something with you and. Yeah, having that shared experience, did I say that already? Again, with an audience, is going to be something really special, actually.